I uh, and Rob and I talk about sometimes is uh, how to raise global awareness of these things. Yes. A lot of people just aren't aware mm -hmm. of uh, this story and the importance that people retain their heritage and their history and understanding that comes from their uh, culture and mm -hmm. not just from their uh, political um, environment. Right. Or theories. Yes. And it's Yes. Uh, yeah, it's very important that we raise the, the uh, awareness around the world. Um, one good thing about Hawaii is that uh, nobody hates Hawaii. Uh, we have no enemies in the world. In fact, people flock here because they think so highly of Hawaii itself, I mean, the, of, of who we are and what we are as a place and as a people. Um, and uh, people come, they're drawn and attracted here. So I would say Hawaii has tremendous favor in the eyes of the world. So uh, we have that benefit in that uh, people, we, we can approach an audience without having to identify ourselves first. We simply can, can start telling our story. Our uh, main hurdle has been the, the narrative that has been publicly accepted by the world of the United States. So, so sort of re retelling our story or uh, bucking the narrative is, is our difficulty. Um, and uh, it, it takes things like this. We, we just need to be able to communicate in every means possible. Um, unfortunately, the ones that, you know, the squeaky wheel gets the gets the grease. Um, the uh, one thing that we are trying to do is do it peacefully, but doing it peacefully and and in order um, is not a squeaky wheel, and and so we have to sort of create our own way of of gaining attention or gaining uh, you know. Uh, not so much attention, but but getting people to 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 focus or to see us, um, without resorting to any kinds of outlandish or outrageous acts or you know acts of violence and things like that. Uh, ironically, in the last 30 years, except for the fall of the Soviet Union, uh, every country that has been decolonized, so to speak, has gotten there because they have taken up arms and there has been tremendous bloodshed. And the United Nations and other countries had to step in to stop the bloodshed and then finally listen to the people, uh, you know. And, and so this is something we do not want to go, somewhere we don't, do not want to go. Uh, we, this is a peaceful uh, restoration of our country. Uh, so it's, it takes longer, but it takes, again, as you said, um, a lot more people to become aware and to understand the situation and to become supportive. So we have uh, begun uh, over the years, we, we have you know, of course taken a lot of social media um, position, we've, we've had quite a bit of press, but it's still not enough to get noticed. So we are still working at it. Whatever we can do or you can think of to help us would be really appreciated. Yeah.